I thought I'd try and sneak it in. Yeah, it didn't, didn't work. <laughs> anyway, Peaky Blinders, uh, seasons one and two are on Netflix. Take a look at this. It's a great show. Yeah. <laughs> Killian Murphy, everybody. Killian Murphy. Congratulations. I, I, I am not kidding. I, I came in uh, one day and said to everybody, I didn't, before I even knew you were on, I said, you've got to see this show. It's amazing. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, you, uh, are you, uh, were you aware when you were putting it together of just how crazy this thing is? Ah, it's pretty wild. Yeah, no, I mean, this, I read the first two scripts. Right. You know, and this... That's your mistake. Never do that as an actor. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you go off the name alone, it doesn't reveal much. You know? I know. I thought it was about dancing or no, something. You, know. really, you can't tell. Right. Um, but it was so compelling and so unusual and unique. And uh, yeah, I, so I was, yeah, hooked immediately. The, uh, the name Peaky Blinders is the name of the gang, yeah. right? And it, they were a real gang in Birmingham. Or is that right? That's right, yeah. And I mean, the, <laughs> the name... Kind of the clue is in the title, I guess, but they had these, they, you know, the peaked caps. Peaked caps, which yeah. Is like the uniform of the working class in right. Britain and Ireland. And so they, but they used to um, sew razor blades into the peak of the cap and that So that they could, weapon. yeah, 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 yeah take that, your, because yeah. they used to do that in Glasgow in the razor right. bangs. They would sew them into the lapel. So when yeah. you grabbed somebody, you'd lose your fingers. Yeah, uh, it's um, not pleasant. No, it's not. And that's why I moved into comedy. <laughs> <laughs> But what's interesting to me is uh, you're Irish, clearly, yeah. and you play someone from Birmingham who's interacting with a lot of Irish people. Yes. Do you ever uh, sit with an actor and think, that's not very good, that accent you're doing? Well, the thing about this was that everybody was doing different accents. Right. Everybody, like, I was doing Birmingham. The Irish char characters were like, you know, the Annabelle Wallace who plays Irish. She's like, from, she's raised in Portugal. Sam Neill, he's a... Um, a Kiwi, he's playing Bell. Sam Neill's accent is great Good in this, end. isn't it? Yeah, he, he sounds a bit like Ian Paisley. Does yeah, Paisley. is that what he did? Is that what the accent he was looking at? I think at? he was going for a bit of that. Right. Yeah, fire and brimstone. Kind it's of really weird. That it's such an odd show. It's like, it's like the wire made by Kurosawa in Britain at the turn of the century. It's nuts. It's a great description. Well, it, like it, it kind of is. It's like just it. bananas. Yeah. And I, uh, what I'm fascinated by as well is that it's a, it's a working class story. That's the thing. You see, I think in Britain, um, for ages, like the, sort of the upper middle class and the aristocracy are so well represented in drama, but never really the working Right, class. it's all Downton Abbey. Ah, I say, <laughs> Charles, <laughs> new one, absolutely. Ah, ha, ha, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of that. And the thing is, in America, the working class are kind of mythologized, you know, right. like in gangster shows. And, and uh, so we hadn't really done that. So it was kind of... A, you know, it was time for that to happen, I think. And Winston Churchill the, uh, com is a character, not a sympathetic yeah. character in the show, Not either. really, no. No, he did some bad stuff, as well as some great stuff. Churchill, right, yeah, you know? I mean, it was, uh, the thing about uh, Churchill is people forget, because they used to say in Britain, I don't know if he's the right man, but he was the right man for the job yeah, then. Exactly. Which they also used to say about Stalin. <laughs> you know, it's like... Yeah. It's like, the, you know, it, to stop Hitler, you needed a, a kind of neutron bomb like that. Yeah. But it was... Uh, it's, a, it's an astonishing, because my, my grandfather hated Winston Churchill. Right. And you never, you never got that because he put machine guns uh, out in George Square in Glasgow when they, were, they thought there was going to be a revolution yeah. after, well, before the First World War and then during and after. Yeah, he's, he wasn't a very popular man in Ireland back then. <laughs> oh, no, no, I suppose but, not. But I think, um, I think in, like, my character, what my character sees in him in the show is that he did go to the trenches and he did. He was, that's true, you know, he and, was the real deal. Yeah, yeah so you've got to hand that to him. But, yeah, it's fascinating to have somebody like that as a main, or a, a featured character in a show like that, you know, a major historical figure. Now, the, the character that you play, yeah. is, uh, was he a real guy? Did he really exist? There was a Shelby family, um, yeah. In fact, the writer Steve Knight is from Birmingham, so... Right. And he, you know, all these stories were passed down to him through his parents, through his... I think his mother was like a runner for, for an illegal bookmaking gang. Good Lord. So, so he had them as a child, and... Uh, these, these memories, and, and he wanted to tell this story. And so this family did exist, and he always used to remember them as being incredibly dapper, despite not having much money and, you know, um, and, and very fierce. 
and and then he just I suppose expanded that and created right and goes movies. into his own uh, Roman play yes. if you like. What about uh, the horse riding? You do some. Is that you riding that horse? That is. Uh, <laughs> it's not, is it? <laughs> no. No. It is. It's it's a real horse. Um, and um, you see that? Yeah. Yeah. They do it right. <laughs> yeah. He's a uh, he's a real horse, and uh, he was. Um, yeah, we had to. I had to do bareback. Riding. I saw it in the very first yeah. scene of the first episode when you ride it, because my, my, my wife is big on horses. All right. And okay. she's watching and she's going, oh, he's, he's good. He can actually do it. And well, it's like, oh, so we get to watch it then? Well, it's, yeah. it's, the, <laughs> it's that classic actor thing of, you know, do you fence, do you ride horses, do you drive a car? Yes, of course I do. But you don't, you know, I can't do any of those things. Can you drive a car? I have recently learned how to drive a car. Is that true? Yeah. But it's because you live in London? Yeah. Yeah, see, I lived in London. There's no need to have a car there's, there's in London. It's a waste really. of time. It's just yeah. a way to get parking tickets. A kind of yeah. Place, yeah. Whereabouts yeah. in London do you live? General kind of... Uh, uh, I live in Queen's Park. Do you know? I, I used to live in Hartland no. Road. Really? Yes! Oh, just is... next to the subway station. Well, the, or like... the London Underground. That is mad. I used to go to the, uh, the discount chicken place right on the corner. It's now a uh, Mr. Fish. Oh, well, there you are. I can, yeah. Although, <laughs> and I'm now a vegan, so well, I then. can't, yeah. Do you so, ever do that? Do you ever do the vegans? No, I'm not. I, I can't. I was vegetarian for like, like 12 years. What was, happened? Bacon sandwich? No, it, it was, it was, uh, it wasn't the bacon sandwich. It was, I, I went like, I went venison. I had, venison? Yeah. You flash bastard. I know. <laughs> And I felt amazing afterwards. Well, you ate Bambi? <laughs> yeah. For 12 years, you didn't eat meat, and then you ate Bambi? It tasted so good. We'll be right back with Killian Murphy, everybody. Killian Murphy. I'm here with Kelly and Murphy, and uh, we were talking about the Peaky Blinders, which is the best show on television, with the exception of all the great shows on uh, CBS. And, <laughs> but you still live in London. I do. Yeah. And do you make the show in London, or do you make it in Birmingham? No, we, we don't make it in Birmingham because the Birmingham of that period was just doesn't exist. It was bombed out of existence. Yeah, the war, yeah. I suppose planning as well. Right. Raise a lot of it to the ground, so we we shoot it in Manchester and Liverpool. Right, yeah. the, uh, the, because the, the accent, the Birmingham accent, is actually very hard. Yeah. It's one of those ones that people, if they get it slightly wrong, they go into Pakistani. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or South African. Or South African is like, yeah. hello, I'm from <laughs> Birmingham. <laughs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. It uh, is. And it's to sort of make it sound cool as well. Or not cool, but, you know, if you're a gangster, it's important to have some element of... Yes, not that we are for a moment suggesting that a life of crime is cool. No, 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 no. Although we don't make movies about people who just live normal, happy lives. This is it. <laughs> do you ever read a script and go, nah, this guy's too much of a bastard, I can't do it? Uh, yes, yeah. I mean, I think, and it's great fun playing like a down-the-line bad guy, but it, what's much more interesting is someone that's like a comp you know, a mixture of... Moral ambiguity. Well, there you go. Yeah, and it seems no. to be that, like, uh, that seems to be the way telly is moving. It's all about, like, you know, the sort of the anti-hero and... Uh... Well, I think television now is because most people that go, that used to go and see thoughtful movies don't go and see thoughtful movies. Yeah. They stay home and they watch they thoughtful watch movies on, on uh, television. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's, it's kind of an interesting thing. So movies now are like, you know, uh, shoot em up, rock and sock em, you know, or kids movies, which is fine. Yeah. Uh, you ever done one of them? Which one? Well, the 28 Days uh, Later thing. Oh, yeah. yeah that, was, uh, that was good fun. A lot of zombie action in that. A lot of zombies in that. You took your complete uh, clothes off. You, did, you went I, full Kardashian I, in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did do that. Yes. Thanks. Now, everyone will be, like, <laughs> Googling that right you now. Find it on the internet. <laughs> you don't necessarily have to use Google. You can use whatever search engine is legal exactly. on CBS. <laughs> so, do you have a pet? I, I have a cat, yes. Oh, really? A cat, yeah. you say? Yes, I do. It's got a cat. Uh, it's, it's a ginger cat. <laughs> you have no idea what kind of cat he is, do you? <laughs> so you have a cat, and you live in London, and you have children? I do. How many? I have two boys. Well, that's enough. Yeah, it is. I have two boys, too. Do you? How yeah. old? 
13 and 3. Oh, wow. Does yeah, it... Scottish people ejaculate once every 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know these big orchids in the jungle that ev once every 10 years just poof, yeah. like that? And whoever's around uh, gets pregnant. Wow. And that's, that's... I thought it was the same with the Irish. M um, um, it can be, I think. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I got lucky, I guess. Um, yeah. What age are your kids? They're, they're nine and seven, so... So you go uh, yeah. right back to work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it took two years, but I did it. So. Yeah, no, good yeah. for you. Uh, and that's it, no more. So your boys go to school there. Are they going to be actors, do you think? I don't know. I don't know. I th Would you like them to be actors? I don't think you can really stop it, can you? No, you can't. Uh, no, you is can't. the thing. I mean, yeah, as long as they're not goths. I don't mind. <laughs> Not what? Goths. Goths? As in G-O-T-H-S. Oh, goths! Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, we don't do THs very well in Ireland. No, no, no. no. Yeah. And I've been here so long that I didn't understand a word of what you said. <laughs> yeah. What part of Ireland are you from? Cork. Ah, that's down the bottom. Yeah. I know where it is. Yeah. Yeah. My family are from Donegal. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful there. Yeah, no, I think so, yeah. yeah. I've never been to Cork, except the airport. Haven't you? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's the second county in Ireland. It's very oh, beautiful. Oh, there you are. And yeah, it's kind of like Birmingham, you know, the second city syndrome. But uh, it's beautiful. Do you do theatre in that very swanky theatre in Dublin? What's it called? The, uh, Which one? That, there's a, that very famous theatre in Dublin. The, the Gaiety? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, why not? The yeah. Abbey? Uh, <laughs> the Abbey is the Abbey. Thinking. The Abbey, the National Theatre. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, no, I've never worked in the Abbey, actually. Oh, you, do you, you do a lot of theatre? I do a lot of theatre, yeah, but I've never, I've never worked in the Abbey. Do you do the Shakespeare? I have never done Shakespeare. See, oh, it's about time, son. Do you think? Ah, it's about time. It's a high diddly dee Hamlet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I kind of a bit of a. I never trained, so I might be a little like anxious about the whole Shakespeare thing. Well, you know? I think that sometimes though, if you look at Shakespeare, what, I mean, I was just thinking about the show you've done. Yeah. Right? And if you look at that Peaky Blinders show, and season three has just been announced, right? That's right. Right, so congratulations on that. That's great. But the. the uh, Thank you. <laughs> No, I was kind of like, you guys are like, um, oh, all right. <laughs> we haven't seen it yet, so we don't know if we're happy about it. But um, I think that a naturalized approach to, uh, to, uh, to stories which have been told more than once is a very good idea. Yeah, that's and, true. And, and when you look at the, uh, that period in history, with that na what's the name of the director, the guy who put it together? Otto Bathurst. Um, yeah, he, he's a bit of a star. That, he's very, that very is. good. He's very talented. And yeah. he directed the first three. And then Tom Harper directed the second three. And then and Colin just McCarthy. the same two guys over and over, and over again? Uh, no, Colin McCarthy did the second season, second block. All right, I haven't seen the second season yet. Yeah, it's good. It gets it gets darker. It gets kind of gets wild. Gets darker? Yeah, man. Yeah, it gets kind of yeah. If that's wow, that's kind of like the Coen Brothers get a little weird later <laughs> yeah. on. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I should look forward to it. I really am taken with it. I think it's the, the most exciting piece of television I've seen in years. Oh, you're very good. And you are spectacular in it. Thank and you anybody who knows anything about this show knows I don't do this Crikey. with actors, <laughs> but you are really good. Well, man. I appreciate it. That was awesome. Killian Murphy, everybody, we'll be right back. <laughs>I've seen myself since then. Hey. Yeah, you know what? You will do pretty much anything for beads, my friend. <laughs> yeah. I've been known. I've been known to, to get some beads. Hey, listen, uh, congratulations. Uh, your, uh, your, your baby was born since the yes. last time I saw you. That's uh, wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. Great. Thank you, man. Like, it's, it's one of those things that you're just like, everybody just, will, they're just like, man, you're not ready. You were so not ready. And I'm just like, no, I'm not ready. Yeah, no, no you're not, not ready. ready. Oh, yeah, and, then, no. and then I realized that I am completely not ready. You're not ready. Like, no, but oh. you're, you're never ready. I got two, and I'm not ready. Uh, <laughs> one of them starts junior high in the fall. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not. <laughs> you're just like, just don't go. Just, oh, just like, tell them not to go. Uh, just stay at home. You get any sleep? Very little. Yeah, very, that's, very, that pretty much stays with you. Very little, but you, you are happy with the time that you get. Like, even if you're sleep deprived, like, you're just like, oh, my God. Like, you're just completely in a different world. And then all of a sudden you get somewhere else where you actually have to be functional. Yeah. And you're just like, 
I really needed that sleep. Yeah, you did, yeah. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. It's fine. Everything's going to be great. I, I hope, it's man. It's not, man. Uh, never you, sleep you're, you're, again. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's good. Wife okay? Everybody all right? Yeah, good. Yeah. I mean, you know. Were you there? Were you in the room? Of course I was in the room. Oh, yeah. you I, room? I tried to not be in the room. But you, you just got out? You were no, just like, I'm not made me going. I wanted to be out. you. I wanted to be outside <laughs> like, just let me know when the baby arrives. <laughs> But no, that, that's how the stuff used to happen back in the day. Yeah, you like, used to be able to do that. You used to be like, yeah, like, passing out cigars <laughs> to people and stuff. It was like a gentleman's club out there, but not any, not not that kind of gentleman's club, obviously. Ooh, hey, it's like twenty dollars, twenty dollars, twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> baby, legs just baby in the arms after that. Oh, hey, okay. <laughs> Yeah, it was a good time. Did you have a good time in New Orleans when you were there? That yeah. bar of yours is fantastic. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's a crazy, crazy place, New Orleans. And I don't know. Everyone told me that having a, having a restaurant or a bar is, is like maybe the worst thing you That's can do. That's a really stupid idea. You do know that, right? Yeah. yeah. Now I do. Yeah. <laughs> now well, I you, do. That, the good news is you'll have to keep making movies in order to pay for this bar yeah, and restaurant. Yeah, so it's perpetual you know. work for babies and restaurants. Right, there you like, go. Uh, yeah, that's it's a, a lot. Terrible idea. They're expensive babies as well. <laughs> like, you think you've paid, you haven't even started paying yet. <laughs> I, I've only, I'm, I'm not there yet because everybody's giving me, you know, you, everybody gives you like literally like cool little cute little outfits and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Are you, are you wearing any of those? I'm, yeah. I have one on now, but I yeah, just wear it for luck. You know? Yeah, no, it's <laughs> good. It looks nice on you and you can get into it and that's what's important. <laughs> Tell me about the movie. Did you you play a guy who goes nuts and shoots the joint up? That's fine with me. Hey, look, you know it's it's not your country, so you just burn it down. <laughs> like you just burn. The, no, look, why the White House in in it, White House down is one of the most fun, crazy things that that I've ever been ex experiencing. I, okay. for, well, hold on. I believe it's a good movie, but I do not believe for a second it is the most fun, crazy thing you have ever experienced in your life. I <laughs> promise you it is. Really? Yeah, yeah, I promise you because, it, you know, you can't actually burn the White House down. No, it's, no, it's, of course not. not. No, not, not a, that would not be wrong. you can actually do. Uh, Does so, it actually burn down in the movie? Oh, spoiler. Okay. Yeah, all right. <laughs> All right, well, don't, just don't say anything then. Jamie Foxx is nice, though. Yeah, J Yo, Jamie plays the president to a T. There's not that many people that can actually play the president. And, and, you, and he... Jamie Foxx, Morgan Freeman, that's it. Pretty much, yeah. 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 Only black people. Well, you know, <laughs> kind of, yeah. Unless Paula Deen's doing the voting, I guess. Uh, oh, come on. Oh, that's right. Ruby, I'm the wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, 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 stay <laughs> out of it. I love it. Go no, so, uh, so why did you buy a bar in New Orleans, by the way? It was a terrible idea, but it was fun. And uh, No, but do you used to go to that bar? Is that a bar you I'm knew? From, you know, my dad's from New Orleans. Oh. My dad's from New Orleans. I grew up in Mississippi, and, and uh, we used to go there, and it was just a crazy place. It was a crazy, insane place, and I, it, I'm not kidding when I say it was probably a bad decision. <laughs> and, uh, no, it, it really was a bad decision. That's all right. <laughs> We've, I'm not, we've established that. I'm not joking with you. I know. I, I used to work in a bar, and I know how dishonest I was when I worked there. <laughs> Tell me how you stole money so I can understand how they're stealing money. Well, I, every available way I could. But mostly, mostly it was about giving away liquor for free. Uh, you know that's happening. You know that's happening. Even that's people... actually happened while I've been there. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, like you know, you you walk in and everybody's like, "Who wants shots?" And I'm like, "Wait, what?" Like he was like, "Why? Why are you giving away? Why are you wouldn't giving away liquor? These people should yeah, pay yeah. for this stuff." That's why the bar's busy, man. The liquor's free. <laughs> This is what it is. I would actually be there if the liquor was free. <laughs> it's free to you. You own the bar. That's how they're tricking me, though. They're not <laughs> telling me that stuff. You really are tired, aren't you, Paul? Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Very much. We'll take a break. We'll be right back with Channing Tatum. We'll be right back. I'm here with Channing Tatum. He was telling me about some secret thing he did. In the White House. In the White House, yeah. It wasn't sex. Or was it? I don't know. You were made, what is you, the you, weirdest you, place you ever had sex? It wasn't... In the, in the, in the, in the White, White House? House. 
<laughs> or Monica Lewinsky. No, Monica Lewinsky. No, mm -mm. no, no. no. There either. No. Uh -uh. Hey, you know what's good? Uh, oranges. Do you like oranges? <laughs> I don't know where this is going, but this is a yeah. This is come a bad on, idea. I'm just saying. Of course, I like. I'm oranges. just trying to get yes. you off of talking about stuff to do with that <laughs> that we weren't talking about during the break. Great, I love oranges. <laughs> yeah, there. It's a you know vitamin C right there. Do you eat healthy? Uh, not really. No. Oh come on, you must look at you. You're in shape and stuff. No, no, you just work out really hard. You just eat like crap and then you work out really hard. <laughs> I don't know, man. Is I that... promise you. I promise you. You just you, every every cheeseburger you have, you're like, yep, that's a mile. Uh, that's another mile. And, and every. Can you do you eat cheeseburgers as you run? <laughs> I haven't tried it yet, but uh, it's because it probably... that that that's a workout video. I think do very well. <laughs> YouTube. You know, like, I think you can only <laughs> sell it on YouTube. <laughs> no, I think it'd be good. Are you going to do a workout video? You should do a workout. Oh no, no no. Come on now, pay for the bar, man. No no no. no. No, I can't. I, uh, uh, uh. No, that's a that's a bad idea. Huh? Yeah, Just right. Me sweating in a headband and everything <laughs> like that would just. Oh, I meant to say to you. I saw your uh, cameo and uh, this is the end. Ah. What the hell were you thinking? What were you... It was a horrible idea. As it well. was a, that's I'm a... just full of bad ideas. Personally. Like, I mean, but... that idea of being that guy in that film. I was like, that's a worse idea than the restaurant. <laughs> They talk you into that. They're friends, you know. They're, yeah, they're yeah. All, they're all like really good friends. Actually, no one knows that Jonah Hill is in the Winnebago behind me in that shot, and we are just drinking the entire time. Uh, it's, ah. it's just complete. That's the only reason how they could get me on a leash. Uh, so it, he got you liquored up and got you to wear like, a gimp like, mask in his this. movie. Take the mask. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be fine. Just put the mask on, put the leash on, and and look, just jump out and just go crazy. And I was like. <laughs> Like, no problem. Uh, is everything uh oh. Well, congratulations on what's sure to be your first of many Academy Awards. <laughs> Johnny Tatum, everybody. I just went to the bathroom a little bit. We'll be all right. Don't you mention it to him, and I won't mention it to him, and everyone will be all right. <laughs> Please welcome Dwayne Johnson, everybody. Dwayne Johnson. I'm good. Dude, you are so oh. badass in that movie. That's fantastic. Thank you, man. Thank you. No, really. I'm kind of a little bit scared of you. What's that smell? I went to the... <laughs> I went to the bathroom a little bit. Oh. No, in your pants. No, no. Yeah, it's in my pants. <laughs> How are you? You I'm all right? I'm good, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, d knock it off. Oh, just a little bit. All right, do it again. Okay. Now, pull my hair a little bit. Little. Nah. <laughs> hey, Dwayne, Craig wants a people's elbow. <laughs> From the wrestling days? You don't do any of that From anymore, the wrestling days? Nah, no, well, now I do it in the bedroom. It's a little different, though, but yeah. Do you, do, do you ever do any of it just to work out and stuff like that? Stay fit? Do you ever do any of the stuff? In terms of on, on the mat and stuff yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah. Um, every once in a while I'll do that. Really? Yeah. yeah. Will you roll yeah. around on your road or with another dude? No, I need to do it with another dude, but not in that way. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and now, where, do, you, do you live in Hawaii now? I was, uh, I was, I'm shooting in Hawaii now. Right. But I was raised in Hawaii. I did a lot of my growing up was in Hawaii. Did you know the president? Uh, we went to rival high schools. Not at the same time. Did you kick his ass? Uh, I would have had we <laughs> yeah, been yeah, there yeah. at the same time. <laughs> no, he went to a high school called Punahou. Right. And uh, I went to McKinley. He went, what was the name of his high school? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yes. man. Say it again. Go on, say uh, it. Punahou. Punahou, you yes. said. <laughs> it's a real place. What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> do you have a place there now? Do you have a place in Hawaii now? You're I not really attached? Where do you live now, no. L.A.? Uh, live outside of L.A. Right. And uh, also have a farm in Virginia. I like to uh, live away nice, from all the Nice, a farm. Yeah. Goats, pigs, chickens, no. elephants, antelopes. <laughs> <laughs> and fairies and all the... Yes, fairies? No. <laughs> it's an interesting farm. Yeah, yeah I'd say, yeah. <laughs> Are we sure there's farms in Virginia? Uh, <laughs> in my mind. Yeah. Yes, it is. No, what, what, do you keep animals on your farm? Uh, we do. We have a lot of horses there. All right. Uh, our little girl rides, and she's a wonderful rider. And plus, right. there's a there's a, a pond that I love stocking. I got a lot of bass in there. A, I love to fish, so there's a bunch of bass. Do you just put of... fish in there and then just fish them out and eat them? I don't eat them. I know I put them back because they're like my babies, but they get 
Yeah. <laughs> right. Really? Do you dress them up in little outfits? I do. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's nice, man. They're teething now. Yeah. yeah. Hey, speaking of teething, my son and I enjoyed your work very much in the Tooth Fairy movie with uh, oh, Julia. Thank you, man. Thank I, you. I, I, I really. Thank um, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. No, it was nice to see you in a tutu for a change. You look good. <laughs> Thank you, especially in pink. Yeah, yeah. It, I wouldn't have thought that was your color, but you looked all right. It looked good on my skin. Yeah. Uh, do you ask for movies like that? Do you say, I need a movie where I'm wearing a little ballet outfit? No, because I can do that on Friday nights. Right, you can, in your own time. Yeah. That's <laughs> my true. Own time. No, no, no. I, I, I think that, uh, you know, I've, I've enjoyed the family movies that I made. And I think when family movies are done right, right. then generally there's a, uh, there's a good story right. involved and a good message. Right. And the message of the Tooth Fairy was... <laughs> <laughs> well, there, there was two messages. Right. Okay. The first message uh, was uh, was dreams and the importance of dreams. That's true. I okay. remember that. Yeah, that's true. I remember that. Yeah. Yes, the importance of dreams. Yeah. Well, well caught. Because I'm like, well, yeah, what yeah. was it? Yeah, no. That was the message. That, that's it. Yeah, believe in yourself. Uh, yeah. Believe in yourself. Believe right. in yourself. Yeah. Um, so the other message would have been, you know, if you wear a uh, pink tutu, it's kind of tight. Make sure that the lower yeah, part yeah, yeah. covers. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I do know. I'm I know. afraid. Yeah. I know yeah, my yeah. friend. I know exactly that. But this, this new movie is not, is, is not a family movie, though, is it? Is no, it? no, 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 no. It's, it's actually far from it. What are you, are you a hitman who's gone crazy? <laughs> no, no, no. It's a, it's a story about uh, two brothers and one is ripped away. Uh, he's, he's killed and he's murdered. And they oh. also try and murder me, too, as well, but I live. Right. And uh, he's the only family I had. And, and now, uh, when he's gone, the only thing I have left is the ability to find these bad men and make them pay. Revenge. It's a revenge movie. Revenge it is. I like a revenge yeah. movie every now and again. Mm. Do you ever remember, but you're probably too young for this, but you remember that uh, Charles Bronson used to make great revenge movies called Death oh, Wish. Oh, sure, yeah. You remember Death those Wish, movies? Yeah, yeah he sure. just killed everybody. He was, was awesome. awesome. Well, I gotta... Yeah. <laughs> you gotta kill the bad men. You, know, you gotta, gotta build, kill the bad the, guys. This uh, movie is uh, inspired by a lot of those movies. For oh, really? example, yeah, sure, like Death Wish and like Bullet and like Point Blank. Yeah, but what, what age are you? You're quite young, right? Uh, you, were 38. You, 38, so you were born, what, 72? Yeah. Yeah, you're 10 years younger than me. Ah. Man, you could kick my ass so bad. <laughs> it comes up when you fast, though, man. You, one minute you're 38, the next minute you're 39. And then that's it, right. And then that's it, yeah. How many and kids you've got? you got one daughter? i got one little girl. Yeah, yeah. right. Yes, Wait, you and you have two. I, I, I have one and one, one on the way, yeah. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Nice yeah, man. i got another one coming uh, in, the, in the new year. Ah, uh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you, were were you hands-on when your daughter was a baby? Were you, were you nappies and, and do the, the, you know, the... Yeah, um, that sure, thing? that and changing and, and yeah. the dream feeds at night, in the middle of the night, sure, all that. Oh, you did that? I did, I did yeah. all that. It was amazing just how much comes out of the little... You're amongst baby. friends, man. You're, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, know. I remember, you know, yeah. it, what, what comes out of them, you're like, this... I, I should call a doctor. There's something... There's something wrong. I know. It's unrecognizable it's, sometimes. It's kind of like this kid, when I'm not looking, is clearly in an Irish pub somewhere drinking gifts. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, snap. All right, then. Well, let's do the... Uh, let's do... You know, you know this is... Uh, you know, we don't have a band or anything. We have to play ourselves... We're done, right? But we have to play ourselves out. You know, we don't oh, we're have done. a band. We're done? Oh, yeah. It goes, that fa it goes fast, so it? Yes, good. Yes, I know. Okay. And it's, <laughs> you're adorable. All right, you can actually keep this one. And you're dreamy. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Keep that. Thank you very you much. Have, you probably need it. <laughs> I do. <laughs> All right, uh, can you... Uh, what, what do you want me to do? Try and get it back? <laughs> All right. So, can you play the harmonica? Um... No? I would say mouth organ, but I've got a feeling you might kick my ass. No, no. So. Yeah. <laughs> but you clearly can. I do, yeah. I've had a lot of practice. Okay. Are we going to play together? Is that it? Well, you can play your own if you no, want. No, no, no. I'd rather uh, play with you. No, we're a team. All right. Okay, okay good. Come on. Right. So, what, well, what do you, what do you want to play? Um, on the road again. Willie Nelson? Sure. Oh, man, I love Willie Nelson. Me too. Do you know Willie Nelson? I, I do, as a matter of fact. There's no way. Yeah, man. Really? Yes, yeah, he's a good buddy of mine. Oh, man, I Check love Willie. He was here, and he's great. He's fantastic, I right? I think he might have been smoking marijuana. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not him. No, I, maybe not. I just, I, I just, I kind of got maybe, but I, you know. I don't. Nah. And not him. No. He's straight and narrow. But how about this? Check this out. You'll right. appreciate this. He gave me my first guitar for a birthday gift. Shut the Tootsie Fruits. Yes. <laughs> really?
Give me some, yeah. Yeah, man. how yeah. the hell do you get Willie Nelson to give you your yeah. first guitar? Yeah, we, we became buddies and I started playing. And then, uh, you know, one of my favorite songs and one of the first songs I learned to play on the, the guitar was Crazy from Patrick Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy for Fear, right, yeah, which he wrote. Yeah, that song. Yeah, and, um, and he... Uh, You're awesome! Ah, uh, no, he's awesome. <laughs> no, but it's awesome that you love that music and you know Willie Nelson. That's love fantastic. Willie. I love country, especially traditional country. I like country. You ever been, I was down in Nashville recently. You ever been down there? I used to live in Nashville. No way! Yeah, as a matter of fact, <laughs> yeah. really? I lived in Nashville twice and went to high school. This is where my love for traditional country music comes Right, into. yeah. So, really quick story, uh, right there on Broad Street where Tootsie's is and all those country bars. Right, yeah. Right, the very first car that I was able to buy when I was 15, I was hanging out in the bars, which I shouldn't have been doing when uh, I was 15. Yeah, absolutely. Right, you know how it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bought my first car from a crackhead on Broad Street. Really? Yeah. And How'd I was 15 years out? old. Well, I was 15 years old. I had my license because in Hawaii, we were able to get our license when we were 14. Right. So I was there. Crackhead came in. Hey, do you guys want to buy a car? I said, yeah, how much? He goes, well, what do you got? I said, I'll give you 75 for it. He's like, okay. And I said, well, I'll only give you 30 now, and I'll come back and give you the 45 in about an hour. He's like, okay. Nice. Right? Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. One. Yeah. <laughs> so me and my buddy take it. We take the car. We're, we're driving down the highway. It was one of those. It was 1970-something Thunderbird. The big body and a big the back seat right. that has a big floor. Right. So as we're driving, we hear some rustling in the back. Uh oh. We look back there. There's another crackhead passed out on the floor. <laughs> True story. So we pull over and he's like, Yeah, you gotta get out. And he goes, Oh, where's my buddy? He's like, I don't know. Well, we just bought this car, you gotta get out of here. So he gets out. Next day I go to put gas in the car. No papers, nothing. The car's probably stolen. Uh, and the crackhead didn't give me the gas key. Oh man, do you hate that? So I had left it in a Burger King. But that is my Nashville, <laughs> one of my Nashville stories. <laughs> well, I I bought a hat. <laughs> that was it. That's it. All right, let's get out of here. Okay. Dwayne Johnson, everybody. <laughs> My first guest tonight. First guest is a great big American movie star. His latest film at any price is in theaters tomorrow. Take a look at this. How's it going? Good, man. You're styling. Look oh, at you with the three-piece thing going on. <laughs> Trying to keep up, buddy. No, no come on, man. All I'm right. a 50-year-old guy. You touch me, I'll fall apart. Look at you. You're in shape. You got your, your little vest thing going on. That's it's it. Yeah, 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 no, it's good. Yeah. Doing the thing. For, and you, you, you're you a badass in this movie. That's great. I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. That's yeah. kind of a crazy scene. I've never had to get to do that. Yeah, no. Have you ever done any rabbit pornography? <laughs> Not yet. Yeah, Yo, listen, yet. that's the way forward for you now. <laughs> yeah, all right. No, listen, I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of your work. That's 17 Again movie. That's a great movie. Oh, that, thanks, man. That was a really good going. movie. And then knowing that you're going to look like that when you're older, that must be a fright, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it was pretty cool, man. I mean, Matthew, I've been, I was a huge fan of Matthew's. Yeah, yeah. Time. Were you a fan of Friends? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, who is it, man? I love that show. I didn't so. care for it. <laughs> no, of course, I loved it. Did you have a monkey? Uh, uh, did I have a monkey? Yeah, they no. had a monkey on Friends. Bieber has a monkey. You don't have a monkey? What the hell's wrong with you? No, I heard he's, he's got a, he's got a, what is it, a German monkey? Or? Yeah, his monkey, I think, what, they got into <laughs> trouble in Germany with his monkey. Oh, really? You don't uh, have a monkey? No, not yet. No, no, no. I'm Do you not... have a pet at all? Uh, yeah, I've got a, a couple dogs at home, but... <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you, man? <laughs> I got dogs. Anybody can have dogs. What kind of dogs do you have? <laughs> Australian Shepherds. Australians? Yeah. Yeah. I see. Yeah. <laughs> Is it like a German Shepherd, but kind of relaxed a little more? Oh, they're or? great. Oh, they're great. I'd say my, my dog's name is Puppy. Puppy? Um, yeah, and she's great. She's a Frisbee dog. They're like herding. Frisbee dogs. dog? You yeah. don't throw your dog around like a Frisbee, do you? <laughs> no, no, we throw it the Frisbee. And it yeah, you, well, you run down the uh, beach with your uh, shirt off throwing Frisbee for your dogs? Pretty much. Yeah, girls Pretty are, are going to hate seeing that, man. That's, <laughs> that's not what they want. you got to be careful taking your shirt off in movies, though. Do you take your shirt off in this movie? A uh, little. I think you guys just saw it. That's about the most I do. Most, right, yeah. Yeah, that's about the most I do. Well, you, you should probably say you do a bit more. <laughs> yeah. The whole movie. Yeah, there the you are. Movie. No, because uh, Matthew McConaughey takes his shirt off a lot. Now he's like, no, not so much now. Yeah, I did. A, actually did a movie with Matthew called yeah? Paperboy a little while ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a good yeah. movie. Thanks, thanks. Well, we were talking about that. You know, he said people had to actually come up to him and say, you know, you're taking your shirt off a lot. 
Oh, you should probably calm down with the shirt, shirt off stuff. Uh, I thought that was hilarious because I think of him with his shirt off, you know, so. Um, really, Zach? <laughs> I think we have a little news item on our hands. So, you think of Matthew McConaughey with a shirt off, it, do you? Yeah. Nah. Not, not even kidding. Really? Yeah. Well, he's... <laughs> no. Really? <laughs> Good for you, man. What the hell? Um, when uh, there was something that happened to you recently, I thought, why, well, you've gone a little badass on us. Because uh, it, it was the condom on the red carpet. I'm like, oh, well, man, come on. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. That's not where they go. <laughs> So I anyway, know. well, I was I wore the pants the night before, and if, I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> this is just not gonna Dude, go. you don't have to go anywhere. Yeah. I'm not giving you a hard time about it. We can move on. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. You didn't get a chance to use the condom, so clearly it wasn't a problem. No, they, it was a pretty young movie, so. Oh, uh, was yeah. it? Yeah, it was the Lorax premiere. Oh crap! But, <laughs> it was. Uh, it was. Uh, oh. So it was just that. Yeah, I bet that was a great day. Yeah, when all of worse, yeah. Jeez, I'm sorry, man. I wouldn't yeah. have brought it up. Oh, dear. I, yeah. Well, anyway, it's a it's great okay. movie, though. Well done. Hey, thanks. Showbiz. Man. So, um... <laughs> No, but you, I think what you're doing, I'm very impressed by what you're doing in your career because you were like the big teen heartthrob thing, and that's a short run, you know. Yeah. But you seem to be doing that Brad Pitt thing. You're getting into like, you know, like your you know, the teeny idol thing, and then now you're a proper actor, growing up. Well, thanks, man. Keeping yeah. your shirt on for many of the, most of the movie. That's yeah. good. Yeah, <laughs> trying to. Do you, are you very careful about that when you're choosing roles? Sort of, man. You know, I, I came in and... When I did High School Musical, it was a pretty big pop off of that, and uh, I really made a, a conscious effort to, to really search for, for projects that were quality and, and to really sort of, you know, study acting uh, in a way that I, when I got thrust into it, didn't have the chance to, to really do. So I've, right. I've really been very careful about it, and it's, it's turned out to be the, just the best thing. In the have you ever done any Shakespeare? Uh, yeah, I did a little bit when I was younger. So and it might be like, time. But it was like theater camp Shakespeare. And That's the so best kind. It is. Yeah. Man, it's the best. That is yeah. always hilarious. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's best it's, for the parents, anyway. <laughs> oh, it's great, yeah. <laughs> we had no idea what we were talking about. Well, listen, there's a lot of English Shakespearean actors don't have a damn clue what they're saying. <laughs> Where are you from? You're from California, aren't you? California. Yeah. yeah. Nice. It's yeah. nice here, isn't it? Oh, man, that's great. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Not Los Angeles, though. No, no, I'm from San Luis Obispo. California. That's the best part. It's, it's great out there, man. Did you go out there? No, I've never been there. Never been there? Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I have been there. I did a show there, actually. Uh, it's the, the Obispo Boyans are... Uh, <laughs> that, what do you call someone from San Luis Obispo? San Luis Obispoites, I think. Really? No, I... You can't shorten it down to just kind of obese or something? <laughs> I don't know, man. What we call San Luis Obispo, we call it slow. Slow, slow that's nice. Uh, well, I'm, I'm out of slow. Slow. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I say all the time. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Now you're doing a little Matthew McConaughey. I did a little bit, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> Jeff does a very good Matthew McConaughey. Do your uh, Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right. I'm, I'm thinking about Zach Efron with his shirt yeah, on. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Zach, we've got to take a break. We'll be right back. We'll talk about the movie with Zach Efron, everybody. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Zach Efron. We don't get along. Uh, a little bit. It's turning around. Tell me about this movie, the one, the, because uh, I've seen it, but I forgot. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, this movie's called At Any Price. Um, right. it, it's, uh, it's sort of a father-son story between me and Dennis Quaid. And, uh, and his character's a seed salesman in the Midwest. Oh, uh, so it, he goes nuts and, and uh, like... <laughs> Sorry, it's a farmer, it's a farming seed salesman farming in the seeds. Midwest. Oh, so it's not like Sense Amelia. <laughs> no. No. That, that's... Marijuana. <laughs> you wouldn't know anything about that, son. Yeah. Uh, and, uh... That was smart. Yeah. 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 By the way, don't leave your tour bus lying around Stockholm at any point. As soon as I get a tour bus, I'm, I'm going to keep You can have a tour bus. Shit, you can go on tour. It'd just be weird if I had a tour bus. No, you should go. You should have a tour bus going like Zac Efron tonight all over the country. <laughs> That'd be awesome. You, it would be great. People would love it. Do your own one-man show. Yeah, that would be it's a great idea. Take your shirt off at the end. <laughs> Let's I practice it now. <laughs> I might take so, you up on that. No, don't. No. Uh, well, maybe. Uh, look, uh, 
So in the uh, in the movie, he's a seed salesman, and you play the the wild young uh, seed salesman with ideas about selling seeds that are. Yeah, different. yeah. Well, the the the, the farming industry has really sort of taken a, a crazy turn, and um, it's 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 really uh, a very cutthroat industry. It's sort of like. Uh, uh, Wall Street has moved to the Midwest. Really? And, um, yeah, out there it's just really, it's it's very ruthless. And uh, my dad's sort of um, buying up all these local farms and sort of, um, you know, putting a lot of people out of work. And so I, I the, the farm is in theory going to be handed down to me. Right. And, uh, I want to... I get, want nothing to do with it. So uh, my character wants to race cars. So there's some pretty cool... He does uh, a lot ra of dirt race track racing. NASCAR yeah. racing? Uh, NASCAR? Arca. He races Arca. I don't know anything about that. What's that? Uh, it's just one step below NASCAR, essentially. Oh. So honest. what kind of car is it then? It's just like a... Just a fast freaking car. Hey, no. Yeah. I, I Watch the party match no, right I, there. I caught it. it. I, I saw it. You I were like a car <laughs> fast. And I'm like, you cussing your spare time, don't you? <laughs> That's good. Know. Anyway, we're out of time. You want to throw frisbees at my horse? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I can't hey, wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. Did you just awe oh, when I said to Zach, we want to throw frisbees at my horse? What the hell is wrong with you? It's, it's not a real horse. <laughs> I know that because I put my hand through his neck hole. <laughs> All right, Zach Efron, everybody. Talented actor, his uh, latest film, The Hangover Part 3, opens on Thursday. Take a look at that. Zach Galifianakis, everybody. Zach Delighted that you're here. I, I have to confess, I'm very jealous of you. Why? Well, because I think of you as being one of those uh, guys that can just grow a beard like any time you want. Yeah. And I'm very jealous of that skill. This is two days old. It's yeah. unbelievable to me. Yeah. I've seen you sometimes that you're so, so beardy, and yeah. then it's not there at all, and then it's back again. Yeah, I get that from my grandmother. <laughs> Now, what about you? Do you get facial hair? Not at all. No, I can grow hair anywhere except my face. <laughs> like, if I need hair around my genitals, yeah. <clears throat> there it is. Yeah. Are you, are I, you very... I, are I, you I, read your, I read your tweets. <laughs> As if are you, you tweeted that. <laughs> uh, grew more hair around my genitals. <laughs> yeah. yeah. LOL. Yeah, yeah. Hashtag <laughs> yeah. hairy. Uh, you're on the Tweety, aren't you? Not really, no. I try to yeah. do it, and then I, I get angry at it and don't do it for a while, and then do it. Yeah. Oh, no, wait, that's masturbation. But the, yeah, it's the same. <laughs> are you hairy further down? Like, are you, are you hairy, like, do you have a hairy back? Are you practicing icebreakers on me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of my job. That's kind of my job. Hey, so you're in I the don't movie. Have a, no, do I, you have I, a hairy back? <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't have a hairy uh, body. I just have a hairy face. Do you have any pets then that are hairy? <laughs> See, that's an icebreaker, isn't it? Yeah, Do you have any pets? That's, that's a better one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, How did you meet your wife? And is she hairy? Uh, she's not. No, she's she's not hairy. No. Oh, so uh, you didn't meet her at some hair thing? <laughs> no, I didn't get to meet her at a hair thing. No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just practicing my icebreakers. Right, right. Yeah, no, it's all right. Yeah. Because we've never met. This is the first. No, it's time first time. Yeah. First time. Yeah. yeah. So, this is so let's 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 do first meeting then. Okay. All right. Then. Uh, so I'll be the therapist and you be you. Perfect. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> is that disrespectful? That's no. If it makes you comfortable, That's I think you should. No, no. I, I think you should. If if you. Th there you are. This is my very thin table for. Uh, <laughs> for only certain yeah. items will fit on yeah. this table. Right. Good place to keep a ruler. I, that's where I keep it. <laughs> also, any uh, sausages, carton or of eggs, pencils. 
Okay, so you, you feel relaxed? Yes. Okay, take a, take a big deep breath in. Yes. Through that magnificent mustache. <laughs> and, and out. Okay. Okay. Now, let me ask you, I'm gonna we'll do word association to begin, just to get a rough idea, a, a kind of sketch of who you are. Got it, word association. Okay, you ready? Yes. Banana. Fun. <laughs> Trousers. Underrated. <laughs> Leopard. Colony. Leopard colony. Leopard, uh, yeah, no, I, was, I was thinking more leopard, you know. I know, I know. Right, okay. I know. <laughs> this is a hell of a therapy session. <laughs> I'm telling you, you're going to feel a lot better after this. Yep. Knowing it's over. Yep. <laughs> Cheese. Whiz. <laughs> Whiz. Ah, see. Now, now we're getting somewhere. Yeah. You're obsessed. Yeah. You're obsessed with squirty cheese. Yep. Do you ever think or dream about volcanoes erupting over and over again? <laughs> volcanoes full of... <laughs> volcanoes full of cheese. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. It's a, a recipe I'm working on. Oh, cheese yeah? volcanoes. Yes! Yeah, it's a, I'm an amateur um, chef. <laughs> As opposed to a professional chef. <laughs> I'm just a, I just dabble in cheese volcanoes. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a big market for that? Cheese volcanoes? Yeah. Oh, you'd be surprised. Yeah, right. If there was a market for cheese volcanoes, you'd be surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. You mimicked breasts there. Why? You went like that. Oh, lar larger breasts. It's uh, or smaller. Oh, one larger than the other. Ah. I like this show. I don't have to talk much. Not at all. Not at all. Do you ever suck your teeth? You're saying teeth. Um, I thought you said crocking. I thought you said crocking for a minute. I, I, I said whatever you thought I said. I do suck my... Uh-oh. You yeah. suck your... Uh-oh. Yep. Well, what exactly is that, then? What is what? Sucking... Uh-oh. Yeah. It's just when you, like, want to show off how, you know, limber you are. Ah, kundalini yoga. What kind of yoga? Kundalini yoga. You never done that? Uh, you could have just said, have you ever done yoga? And I no. I said no. no. <laughs> well, you haven't done any yoga at all? Uh, I, I did once accidentally. <laughs> Accidentally do yoga. I was picking up a, a piece of gum. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's very funny. Uh, yeah, I like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is nice. It, it is nice. You want some music? Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, want some nice music for us. Oh, good, my theme song. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I remember. Very good, and I usually like, don't like political music, but that's really good. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll what? be right back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Zach Galifianakis. So, Zach, you were uh, raised by gypsies. Yep. And your family traveled across America uh, solving crimes. Yeah, we, uh, we were a band of gypsies that started uh, at the Epcot Center in Florida. Right. <laughs> uh, you were known as the Crime Gypsies, I believe. Yeah, Crime yeah. Gypsies of Epcot. But the, the Crime Gypsies of Epcot. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And it was you guys that cracked the big, uh, the big Chicago case, wasn't it? Yeah, the big Chicago case. We cracked that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What happened again? I forget what happened exactly. The... Oh, don't put this off on me. <laughs> <laughs> don't expect me to pick up oh, your come improv. On. <laughs> so you, you went to Chicago with your band of crime-solving gypsies, yep. and there was a, a spate of robberies involving cheese. Yes. 
Um, hmm. And you guys solved it then? We solved it. And that's Thank goodness case for that. Is closed. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you can't talk about it because of, you know, obvious reasons. Yeah, I can't really talk about it because I don't know what the hell you're talking yeah. about. <laughs> so you get... You, you don't like you don't like gypsies. I like I, I I do like gypsies. I think gypsies are very cool. If you've ever gone to Europe and and seen gypsies, I like I like the look. I like the way they look. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy their violins, especially close to Castle Dracula. <laughs> ever been to Castle Dracula? Where's that? It's near a big spouty volcano, and you know. <laughs> Near, uh, well, what country is that in? Um, Ru, Ru hung, hungry, hungry. Ru Hungary. Ru Hungary, yeah. Ru Hungary, yeah. Ru Hungary. Yeah. Uh, the famous, uh, East European drag queen, Ru Hungary. <laughs> the famous, the famous overweight European drag queen. Ru Hungary? Oh, it's like a, it's a question from Scooby-Doo. Real hungry? Real bad? Mm -hmm. So the movie's good, I hear. Which one? <laughs> oh, yes, I'm here to promote a movie. Hey, yeah, number three, yes. Yeah, part yeah. three, yeah. It's going to be top notch. Uh, we'll see. No, I think it'll be good. I'll be top notch. No, it's good. I saw it. It's really yeah, good. Yeah, no, I've heard it's good. Mike yeah. Tyson was here. He was? Yeah. Yeah. He's nice, actually. Yeah, he's nice. I'm surprised. He's actually really very nice. Yeah, he's I nice. Know. He's really, really nice. I like him. Yeah. yeah. yeah he's yeah, a nice man. Yeah. Don't want to fight him. No, nope. no, wouldn't want to fight him. <laughs> no. Nope. But then again, there's plenty of nice people you wouldn't want to fight. Like who? Brian Seacrest. Ah. Uh, he's nice. Yeah, but he would be fun to fight. <laughs> like you'd hit him and then you'd just go Seacrest out. <laughs> Yes, the very talented writer and director. His latest film, The Double, appears in theaters on Friday. Take a look at this. <laughs> Richard R. U. R. D. everybody. Really? I'm okay. Yeah. Hey, um, first of all, nice. congratulations on the film. And yeah. also, I think you're going to have to... Um, the choice of clips seemed a little... Yeah. Yeah. I don't really know what's going on there. That didn't help anyone. Well, not really. Uh, well, no. Yes. Well, Jesse Eisenberg... Right. Recognise him. Okay. He plays two characters in the film. Uh-oh. Oh. And... Well, I can't really say that, spoiling the plot, I've just well, realised. Then, then don't, it's all right. Essentially, it's like Avatar, if you like that. Right, got it. If you like go. Avatar, you're going to like this film. If you like The Godfather, just go. Right, great, <laughs> got it. Yeah. Uh, do you, would you like to talk about the plot of another film? Yeah. Perhaps a film you've seen that you okay. enjoyed? Well... The Godfather's good. Godfather is good, yeah. yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I watched The Godfather 2 recently. I really enjoyed it. I mean, also I've, good. I've seen it many times, of course, yeah. but every time it's on cable, I'm like, it's Fredo. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. It's very frightening. You seem to be uh, slightly English in your accent. I am almost totally English in my accent. <laughs> Which part of England are you from? I'm from London. Oh, I, I live in London. You've, have you seen it? I've, I've been there. <laughs> I, used to, I used to live there, actually. Well, get out. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've you, never met anyone who's been... Who lived there? Before. Yes, yes, I lived there. I lived in Islington. This is amazing. Mm-hmm. It's a very nice place, Islington. It is now. Oh, come on now. <laughs> I, I was born in Elephanton Castle. Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah. That's, uh, it's, it's... That's still... Salt of the earth, you know. It's still tough. Yeah, it's very... Uh, uh, so I Yes, it's... Do uh, you still live there? Well, this is the thing. For a while, I lived in this place... And um, there's uh, kind of, you know, the Times newspaper? Yes. You have papers here. Not anymore, no. <laughs> no, no. It's all, it's all, it's all tweets all now. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, um, hashtag. So, mm -hmm. um, is that this show? It is, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go, it's fine. There was a picture of a house, and it said, Is this the worst place to live in England? And it was six doors down from where I lived. <laughs> 
So I lived on the A40, do you know that? Yes, yeah, it's asthma. a road, yes. Yeah, like, and I got asthma from living in this place. Oh, good lord. And when we moved Did you out, have to clean chimneys as a child or anything? Yeah. It was much like the life of Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> and, um, and when we moved, there was a black ring around all of our possessions. You couldn't hear your phone ring in this house. Good lord. Nice. Well, you don't, well, well, where do you live now? We, we still live there. Okay, yeah. <laughs> We moved back in because we just, there's something about the atmosphere that was, it was carbon monoxide, but we like... Well, I don't know. It sounds, how's your asthma now? Are you all right? I occasionally have a seizure. Really? But Do you like, have to have one of those <laughs> things? Yeah, yeah, which is a really erotic sight. Um, so, yeah, I occasionally do that, but only if I want to seduce someone. You find the asthma lulls a prospective sexual partner into a sense of randiness, I guess? I think pity. Pity? Pity sex is still sex, my friend. Well, it, it's something. Yes, it certainly is. It's something. Mm. Have you seen Foil's War? My brother in law is in it. Shut <laughs> up! I will not. Who is he in it? He, well, I haven't seen it. But All right. He, he's called Lawrence Fox, and his wife. He was, played the. Uh, yes, and yeah. he's married to Billy Piper, yeah, who was yeah, here. Yes, she's my sister in law. Oh, shut up! Oh, no, shut up! That's amazing! Out. Yes! <laughs> so, uh, well, yeah. there you are. But you, yeah. yet your brother-in-law, who you, you, you so admire and yes. respect, but you never watched him when he was in Foil's War, man! Out of admiration and respect for Well, him. that's fair <laughs> enough. Is the show very popular in Britain? I don't... I don't really know what's going on in any walk of life. So, I mean, it might be... Are you, are you, are you a, a weird loner type? I'm, I'm inside a lot. I, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Is, is it, do you hate people? I'm not nuts on people. Mm. I mean, my default position is no. <laughs> um, I, th I think I like you very much indeed. I don't know. It's okay. I mean, I'm, if I meet a new person, I'm not like, hey, this is going to be good. No, no, I'm, no, I'm no. I'm generally, this is not going to pan out. Yeah. <laughs> well, because most of the time you're right, and, if you, yeah. and then if you are right, you're not disappointed. Yes. So, are you in therapy at all? No. Well, you are not. Really? So, okay. don't you think... How do you find it? Is it you're in therapy? Are oh, you, all the time. Is yeah. it good? I find it, it's interesting in a way of kind of sort of taking an inventory of yourself. You know, right. Kind of finding out, oh, oh see, uh, that's why I make such uh, questionable choices. Right. You know, but how can you trust yourself to be delivering accurate information? Well, now you've just ruined therapy for me. <laughs> No, I think you don't trust yourself to deliver accurate information. You, take, you just deliver information without judgment I and allow the therapist to interpret whatever information you give them. You're able to do that? Well, it's a trust situation, you know. Ah, uh, you see, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> No. Well, let's give it a shot. You tell me a piece okay. of information okay. about you, and I'll play the role of the therapist, which I'm not qualified to do, okay. much like Dr. Phil. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I occasionally use my inhaler for the purposes of seduction. No, that's not true. I, um, you know, I, I drink a lot of Diet Coke now, mm. and I'm worried that I'm too close to you. Because, you know... Oh, you're going to uh, pass gas, or...? I, th uh, I, I think I could expel. Now, are we talking upstairs expel or downstairs expel? I'm talking about anything. Oh, expel, all right. I'm talking about anything. Well, yeah. well first of all, it's a perfectly yeah. natural bodily function. Okay. Why would you be ashamed of it? Well, I'd feel it might end up looking like a mark of disrespect or a oh. comment on the proceedings. Oh. <laughs> no, no, okay. no. No, do you worry about uh, being disrespectful to other people? Do you worry about what other people think of you? I'm, you know, look, I am wearing these socks, so I can't be that concerned. So, yeah. um, I... <laughs> You know, that's good. That looks like an exact replica of the carpet from The Shining. Yeah. So, uh, well spotted. Yeah. Yeah, it actually is. is and it? they're they're tight. Oh, good. Yeah. That's good. They go all the way up. All to the way neck. up. Yeah, yeah. About here. Yeah, that's yeah. good. So then there's a little strap, little spaghetti strap over the top, and you can go right in the ocean. Yeah. So, um, well, I don't know that I'm that worried about what people think about me. Maybe a little bit. Maybe people you admire. That usually be, is the thing. If you admire someone, you want them to like you, oh, perhaps? Oh, I would hope that they wouldn't. Otherwise, I'd have to stop admiring them. I see. <laughs> now, this is the Quentin Crisp dilemma. This is the Groucho thing. Right. Well, the, the Groucho thing, not being a member of a club that would have you as a member. Yeah. Quentin Crisp 
had a great one because he was gay, of course. Mm -hmm. And he used to say his ideal man was a large, dark, heterosexual male. But of course, the minute if that man was interested in him, he would no longer be interesting because he would no longer be heterosexual. However, I put it to you, that's a safety device to a keep people device. at a distance. Well, I don't know that it is <laughs> more than a disagreement over their assessment of my abilities which would call into question their actual greatness. Mm, I doubt it. I think it's to do with fear. Really? Of what? Mice. Okay. <laughs> I am afraid of mice. And that'll be $100. Thank you. Thank you. That's good. I'm afraid of mice. Good. And that's why you should be in therapy. That's why I should be in therapy. Yeah. Or I could, you know, just speak to someone I know about this. Well, there's that too, I yeah. suppose, yeah. But, you know, it, it seems good. You like it? Yeah, I enjoy it, it's you okay. know. Passes the time. Yeah. Gets me out of the house. Yeah. We're out of time, actually. Well, we're always out of time. <laughs> always. Well, time's always gone, I guess. Well, the minute you see it. I yeah, I know. It it's already in the past, and we're dying now. <laughs> 7th of July is going to be good, though. Oh, come on. I, I think we're dying now is exactly what you want to go to a break on. <laughs>